So we're doing our best to understand what Jesus has done because I would like to announce that the transcendent truth in the universe is that there is a God, he is good, he is so good and loves you so much. He put on skin and bone and came and lived amongst us approximately 2,000 years ago and he was sinless and because he was sinless, he could pay for your sin and he could pay for my sin. So if we simply believe his once and for all sacrifice, we can be made right with God forever and ever. And so the big idea in the universe and the world today that no matter what you face for it rains on the just and the unjust bad things happen to good people and good things happen to bad people it's the world that we live in but for those of us that have received Jesus and believe that we are now right with God and we're forgiven forever it is that truth that we're called to hold on to when times get tough It's that truth that enables us to get up again and face another day, not just face another day, not just survive and get through, but face another day with the expectation that God is good and what's ahead of me is good. So how are we going to do that? Well, 1 John 3 and verse 19, right after 3, 16 says, we shall know that we are of the truth And notice, and reassure our heart before him. I love that statement, reassure our heart. That speaks of a confidence deep on the inside, an assurance on the inside. In this passage, we're told that if we will do the particular statement, the kind of the main theme, which is lay down our lives only in response to Jesus who laid down his life, if we will lay down our life, we will reassure our hearts. We will reassure our hearts. This laying down your life is, comes with a guarantee that if you will live this life of continue letting your life go to find life, you'll have a confidence and an assurance. So wherever this sermon goes now this morning, as we talk about you dying to yourself, I want you to remind yourself that the blessing that comes with laying down your life is you'll have an assurance in your heart in this life. And I don't know about you, but we have never needed assurance in our heart more than today. The Bible says we're to lay down our life. Of course, this is consistent with the teachings of Jesus. It was Jesus quoted as saying, whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. That is, by definition, the paradoxical teachings of Jesus, which teach us that you've got to let go to find. You've got to lose to find. Jesus taught you got to die to live. The way up is down. The greatest is the least. The one who's in charge is the servant. The one who's most important is the one who serves. It's the teachings of Jesus. Not only was it his teachings, it was his lifestyle. It was how he lived. It was how he socially interacted with people. We're here today under the premise of Jesus and his teachings. Again, I want to remind you, his teachings are you lose to find, you die to live. Is there a person here today that doesn't want to find life, that doesn't want to live life to the fullest? I'd like to put in front of you for your consideration the teaching of Jesus, that if you want to find your life, If you want to find that assurance, that confidence, that security, that fulfillment, that satisfaction, that you trust God in such a way that you lay down, lose your life, you die to your own plans and your own self 